Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm in Terra Cruiser 4, heading down the Pacific Coast Highway, heading down into town. I got a meeting with the production company today, right? Ah, I said right again. I'm trying not to say right. I'll just get it out. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna skate before I go uh, to this meeting. So I was thinking about it. And then I go to work. I, I'm working with this client for a couple hours tonight, helping him to uh, achieve sobriety. I'm a sober coach. So, um, you know, I, I was thinking about talking to this guy and, and how it's relevant to my life. So, most people stay sober due to some sort of spiritual and psychic change. For me, I, that's the way that seems to be highly successful is it, spiritual connectivity and you have a psychic change, right? And the thing that you have to dispel people on early on is white light experiences aren't for everybody and don't happen for everybody. I had a pretty radical white light experience in my journey, and yet that's not the norm. A lot of people just have to trudge the road of happy destiny. Just keep getting up every day, keep paddling out into the surf of life, and, and take some beatings and get some good waves and have a couple wipeouts along the way. But ultimately, just keep paddling. And I was thinking about that on my way into town to meet these guys at this production company. So our uh, the show we've been working on, we have an option on it, which means this production company can go, I don't know if they're a production company, I don't know exactly what they are. I'm not that guy, my producer guys are. I'm, just, I'm showing up because these guys want to actually meet me and, and I'm gonna get them fired up to take this thing to the finish line. So they have the option on it means they're gonna go shop the show around, you know, to like the Travel Channel and these shows and try to get this thing made and, and, and get it happening, right? And I was thinking about how this journey of the illusion has not been a white light experience. I mean, you could say the, the bull cut video is sort of its weird, viral thing that's led to all sorts of this my maybe that was the white light but but this journey to get this show made and and get myself out of this sort of hamster wheel of existence if you will has been a, a slow trudge man and it's hard for me to see it and so thinking about it going back to the guy I work with is is Part of sobriety is like we just slowly make progress and then one day in the future we look back and see that where we came from in the past, that oh my goodness, we've made this huge change, this vast improvement of our life and we've had this psychic change and the obsession's been removed and we have this connectivity with God or, or our spiritual reality, man. And uh, wow, that was dangerous what that person just did. So um, it's like, so I was thinking about that in the show. So if I look at it from a different set of eyes versus just being like right now, like, oh, wow, you know, man, this isn't happening. But I look at this as a journey and how far we've come. Like it's been two years since I first met John and Brett about doing this show and we made five episodes and you know, we got this bitch and sizzle reel going and we have someone has the option on the show so they're shopping it around. That is in itself is radical, radical journey and, and how far we've come, right? So I can sit did I say this is the Magic Mental Monday video? This is the Magic Mental Monday video for today. This is all about persevering, though you it's hard to see. It's hard to see the journey of a thousand miles in one footstep, 
right? One footstep's just a footstep. But it's only when you've taken a million footsteps that you're like, wow, I'm on a, a million footsteps ago. I started this journey and it was just a footstep. And we can get caught up in the uh, mundaneness of these footsteps and feel like we're not making any progress. Feel like we're not going forward into the dream. And yet, that's just a deception that the mind will tell you. Because as long as you're pursuing your dream and you're doing the next indicated action, like my next indicated action is to go skateboard and then I'm going to go meet these guys down at the office and, you know, the monkey's going to dance for them. I mean, that's what this meeting really is. Like, I'm not going to dilute myself with what this meeting is. They want it. They want to have the, the talent come into their office and see see if I'm for real or not. So, you know, the monkey needs to go dance. I'm cool with that. The, ultimately, I could get a bushel of bananas out of this whole thing. But for today, monkey's just gonna go dance. And I'm cool with it because it sent me into motion, right? I get to go skate because it's a two for one package. I'm down here, so I'm gonna go skateboarding and I'm gonna go meet these guys and then I'm gonna go to work and complete my day and I've already had a beautiful Monday I hung out with the, the baby bird owl and hologram I had an awesome Easter with with the mini gram and owl we went down to the LACMA LA County Museum of Art that's what we did and uh, it was just super cool so it's all gravy today so today's reality is just I'm I'm scooping up gravy. I'm slurping gravy. I'm eating the gravy, man. And it's a gravy day because if I if I see how far I've come, I realize that today is just a total radical blessing. And it's only the expectation that every footprint's gonna, every step's gonna be a spiritual white light experience, which makes every footstep seem like. Uh, mundane when if I really look at it the white light experience has been this whole experience it's anyway I just want to remind everybody that uh, it's it's a journey of a thousand miles contingent on one footstep at a time. That's it. So I hope you're having a beautiful Monday as we uh, move towards the summer months. Don't forget to plant your garden. All right, it's the illusion. Don't forget to subscribe. Get, get a hat or a t-shirt. Go buy some frames. Oh, and that got me fired up too. I got an order for three frames today. Booyah! That's exciting also. So the frame dream slowly getting a little bit of momentum too. I just got to keep making them, right? That's what we got to keep doing. All right, I'm out. Whoa, this is the illusion. Free as a bird. Free as a bird today. So stoked. I had just had my first like free session. Like free bird skate session. I'm super stoked on it. The skating other, every other day is starting to pay off. Just my my legs are strong, you know, so it can kind of hold me up where my back can't. So that's super exciting. Today was the day. First like real skate session where I I didn't want to quit. I didn't have to stop and stretch. I just got to skate, man. Just got to straight up skate today, dude. I was hitting some old lines that kind of a little bit sketchy for me with the, because the back's been so tight. I haven't been really throwing myself off the ledge. So I threw myself off the ledge a couple times. Pretty fired up about that. Now I'm gonna go meet these dudes about our show. I got the frequency all adjusted properly. Uh -uh. 
Uh, that gets me pumped, man. And then I made this little pocket. See that little pocket right there? I made it with some extra fabric left over from Owl's pillow. It's for, for my, for my uh, iPhone when I skate. I put it on airplane mode to protect my heart, you know? But the thing is, is when I skate with my iPhone, it always fries my headphone wires if it's in my pocket, right? And then I gotta run the cable up through my shirt and it always hangs up with the little microphones. It's basically a headache and I was like, I'm just gonna make my own custom pocket on my shirt. Boom. And it looks kind of tight too. I think what I'll do next time is I'm gonna make it into like a racing stripe. Like, like a full thick racing stripe from top to bottom and then down the back and have the pocket in the middle. How's that? I'm pumped, man. That was rad. Now my back's tightening up, but I'll have some water and uh, I'm gonna go to this meeting and slay it, dude. Magic Mental Monday all the way so far. Uh. Well, the meeting went fairly well, I thought, man. I'm one of those, I just go, go in and be me. I don't really beat around the bush. I don't really try to be anything I'm not. But I definitely gave a lens into my reality as a human being on Spaceship Earth. So, you know, I don't know. Only time will tell, right? But I did the next indicated action. I met and went and met with them. There was four of them. They had their keyboards typing and they were uh, listening to what I was saying. I think they were somewhat entertained, somewhat amused, and somewhat puzzled. So the, my take on it all is they either loved me or they hit the delete button. Now that's, that's the illusion's life. So more will be revealed. But uh, you know, for me, I was where I was supposed to be. I met with four unique human beings. They all had very good energy. They were positive. They were nice manifestations in my dream. And I'm even more pumped that I had such a great skate session. Like, that's my, my takeaway from this whole thing was I had a great skate session. And now I'm off to go to work. And that is great news. All right, it's the illusion. I think I've said this twice in the video already, but don't forget to subscribe and uh, the Etsy account. Links are down below and I'm trying to stick with the schedule the best I can.